students, it's Shayna, your teacher at EspressoEnglish.net, and today I'm back with another lesson about phrasal verbs. To remind you, this month I'm doing a daily lesson where I teach you one phrasal verb every day. So today our phrasal verb is pay off. Before I start, I wanted to remind you that you can join my Phrasal Verbs in Conversation course to learn a lot more phrasal verbs. So if you like these videos and you want to learn the phrasal verbs that native English speakers often use in daily life, check out my Phrasal Verbs in Conversation course. You can click the link on the top right corner of this video or down in the description to get more information. So let's get started. Pay off. Here are the three options for the uh, definition and meaning of payoff. Only one is correct. So as I go through these, and I'll give you an example, try to think about and try to guess which is the correct definition. So one possibility is to have good results after effort. Another is to give money back to someone. And the third option is to be responsible for yourself. Okay, so start thinking about which one of these is the correct definition. Here's an example of the phrasal verb pay off. Let's imagine that you go to college, so you spend four years in college getting your bachelor's degree, and then after that you spend two more years in graduate school getting your master's degree. And then after that, you spend four or five additional years uh, in a doctorate program getting your doctorate degree or PhD. And finally, after all those years of study, after more than 10 years studying and preparing, you finish your studies and you get a great job. It's your dream job. It's with a company that you wanted to work for and it's doing something you enjoy doing. And so when telling people about it, you could say all those years of study really paid off. Okay. Now that I have my dream job, I can say that all those years of study really paid off. So based on that example, what do you think the phrasal verb pay off means? A, B, or C? I'll give you a moment to think about it and write your answer maybe in the comments, okay? All right, are you ready to learn the correct answer? Pay off means to have good results after effort. So in this example, you put in a lot of hard work and a lot of effort through many years of studying in college and graduate school, and then it paid off. It had good results because the result was you got your dream job, okay? Now don't get confused. Some of you might have chosen B, uh, give money back to someone. That's a different phrasal verb. If someone lends you money and then later you give the money back, then the phrasal verb for that is pay back, okay? Pay back. But today we're looking at pay off, and pay off really has nothing to do with money. It just means to have good results after you put in usually a lot of hard work and a lot of effort. All right, so let's put it into practice. What's something you did in the past that paid off, that had good results after all the time and effort and energy you put in? Or maybe you can write a sentence about something that you are hoping will pay off in the future. I'll give you an example for me. I'm doing these daily videos every day in February, and I hope it will pay off in terms of getting uh, more YouTube fans and more people watching my lessons, those would be the good results that I hope to see after putting in the effort to prepare and record these lessons. All right, that's all for today. Remember, if you want to sign up for Phrasal Verbs in Conversation, click the link here or in the video description. I hope to see you in the course, but if not, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.